I have been looking forward to this run for a while. We've got Crucible 3 on Balan, so one whole less crit. And on Balan, that makes all the difference. Unpretentious Amulet is looking so much better. If I follow my mantra, starting training weight is amazing. There is a short fuse here, which is also pretty amazing, but I'm just taking the training weight. It's so good. It's actually just the key to unlocking all of the Crucible levels and then also beating Crucible 20. Or at least it was for me. And that's what counts. Oh yuck, what was that shot? Ugh. I don't know if there's any kills, but... What is happening there? Uh-huh. Sure. Three elites, including one extremely early one. I'll see what I can do. Eh, yeah, let's just finish. Yeah, but nearly saw. That is really tempting. It's not that early, right? If I just close my eyes, surely it won't just immediately appear in front of me. 56, not bad. In theory, I could get 150, but in practice, that's not happening if early rain bristle line doesn't intervene. That's just uh, very hard to get, especially for this map. Like, if you don't have enhanced day on this map, collecting like anywhere near a map there of uh, max coins there are, it's, it's very very hard. But I feel like we've done a pretty exceptional job of it so far, but still. I really want a bomb. Completely cleans up the map, allows me to maintain my shield, which means I maintain my health. Yeah, 90 cash is just not happening. Which is fine. Oh sorry, 150 is happening. I miscounted the fights by one. But yeah, 200 is definitely not happening. Especially if... Uh, Seriously, this one again? I was just talking about how this map is bad for collecting cash. Yuck. Not happy with that. Ah, oh, that was slightly earlier than I wanted. I was trying to single tap the bomb rather than double tap it. Couldn't quite achieve that though. Having one extra refresh on the board is certainly nice, but uh, sometimes it can be unfortunate. Great stuff. It's quite big. Unfortunately, he is alive on one health. That is kind of not what I want. Cool. I can afford to lose some health here, and I didn't even lose any. And taking portal guys for the elite does sound super tempting. But let's be real, if I've got training weight, I can just kind of force high rolling into training weight. I think that'll just work. And we even get a very, very solid first shot. Second shot is nowhere near as solid, obviously, but still. Like, that's not bad. If this can hit the refresh, which I was aiming for, then it would have also been a pretty decent shot. Unfortunately, it didn't. Uh, I'm going to do a shot like this because I really want to hit that bomb. But if I don't, it should still get the kill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it did not, in fact, get the kill. That one shouldn't hit the bomb this time, though, surely? Yeah. Sure. It's fine, it's it's just like fine. It's, it's... Plants can just absolutely steal all of your health, and it looks like it has just absolutely succeeded in doing that this time. Can we have the bomb this time? Nope, we still can't have the bomb. Okay. That about checks out to be honest. What else did I expect? Um yeah, this is actually kind of rough, isn't it? 183 cash though, I could heal if I wanted. I really don't want to heal, but uh, okay, surely I get the bomb now, right? Yeah, okay. Thanks, pal. Final shot hitting the bomb. It's level 2 already. Oh god. I don't want to do that though. 100% the play here. Bombula is a really good pickup. Imagine I had that before this fight. Would have been so nice. I spent way too long in this fight trying to hit bombs and uh yeah. right we've had some self damage stuff as well that is this is exactly the kind of stuff i wanted to see this is incredible absolutely amazing so good we're in such a good spot now nothing immediately but i don't need it to be and we get this fight which has two bombs and let me tell you having two bombs in this fight instead of one bomb pretty big deal uh, we're going to be chucking an upgrade on this swab. I want it level 3 
basically for the rest of this game, uh, this uh, area. Because I really don't want to burn any more health than is necessary. We could get unlucky in the mole fight. And I, I'm not getting any, I don't want any of your pluses out of the tournament this early. That being said, this bomb was uh, very much not wanting to be hit. Which may actually create some problems, but... Oh, Jesus. Like, what is this setup? It's crazy, man. I believe in you. Oh, yeah, that's why I believe in you. Yeah. Good stuff. I did not do what I said I was going to do. Good job. Good job. It's unfortunate. Would have been nice if I'd actually sent the upgrade there. Having some more shield starting to fire. Would have been nice. And we indeed have Nightcap. That's very cool to see. We do get our starting with Circle here though, which is pretty massive. And Bombula is a way bigger deal here. And we also have a filibuster, which is also going to be pretty amazing. I'm going to straight up end the shot because I think my next shots are perhaps a bit too solid and I really want to get the damage on this line. We are... I'm not forgetting the uh, upgrade this time though. It's kind of unfortunate. But if I hit that refresh, that's amazing. Slam. I'm not shooting that. I say, so I shoot another pebble. Yeah. Uh, that shot was absolutely incredible. We just get in a circle every fight now. That's so handy. You know what else is so good? No, yeah, don't take this. Uh, the question is, what do I upgrade? Because I get more starting shit. Oh, I'm just doing that. It's also more max. Holy cow, these are some insane passes. This is a really hard pick. All three of these are rated super high. God, that is tough. Like, all of these... Well, they, these two are both in S++. <laughs> and this one is in... Hi, S. They're all so good. God, this is a tough pick. Man, can I take anything but peg bag? I don't think I can. Okay, damn. Hopefully I see the rest of them later, because uh, I sure as hell want them. They're really quite good, and I'm very happy I didn't uh, miss Navigator. Yuck. I thought Lightning Orb was super good. I'm not denying that, but uh, I would have... I'd love the level 2 landing orb, that's for sure. No. That's annoying. I really wanted a good event there to get one more upgrade before this mall. I don't need it for the mall before the mall, but um I just wanted to have the upgrade available to me. Yeah, we should just melt through these guys. Refill Buster plus an extra bomb source is just crazy strong against this. Especially when we also have Pick Bag. Which means we're absolutely hitting what we want. Okay, this fight's just over. Great stuff, let's hit this. Those are my recent runs and just having tons of refreshes available with them. I mean, I appreciate it. I sure do. Do I do two upgrades here? I don't think I do. Uh, do I even do that? I don't think I do that yet, actually. God, second upgrade is so tempting. It's so good. Like, one of these. One of these two, like, that's really good upgrades there. I guess technically also Swab's decent. I think I might hold off on doing Swab, though. Oh, we actually hit numbers. No way. And we hit good bomb stuff as well if we wanted that. All of these passives are also so insane. I mean, we have the knuckles set up, right? I just have to take this. So good. Actually crazy, and we even have uh, health to greed on. And we're getting max health off of Nightcap because we finally, finally have a good bulk source. Like that, uh, what well, wasn't previous run, right? No, but recently we had that run, which was very close. <laughs> Starting Nightcap, and yet it just didn't work out. I was not getting the max health I wanted off of that. Luckily, you know, I still ended up with. I think it's pretty fair to say, like a solid amount of max HP, I think we can call it. Yes. Uh, oh, the fight's over? We actually got max health this fight, that is very impressive, I was not expecting that. I'm going to do renewed the gold because it's pretty good if I hit leaf. <laughs> yeah, that was my reasoning. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I think we have pretty good scaling now. I don't know, I feel like it's pretty fair to call it pretty good scaling. We just need a... 
do stuff. Can okay, you not hit crits? Like, I really need to not hit crits. Planning on will be very decent once it's level 3 because that way you can kind of hit crits. Uh-huh. Yuck. Maybe I messed up that shot, but I don't know. Shooting solely at that bomb didn't feel like the right play either. Yeah, we have a lot of constant burn damage. It's just definitely not the craziest. Um, left and just... We have the scaling to deal with stuff. We have the lightning orb to deal with resistance, right? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But I may need to be pressing the... Oh, sure. Okay. That works too. We may need to be pressing the kill button if we went that way, so I'm kind of happy I didn't. Sure, I can just aim at this crit and have very little downside. So I will, because... I kind of wanted to shoot like that for that shot. It's just a really nice moment when you shoot like that compared to some other shots, which can just completely do nothing. Uh -huh. I need to hit two pegs. I need dead. Until I hit a crit. Bonk. I get some more max shielding there. A level 3 spear would be pretty good. Indeed it would. Yeah, 16 starting shield is beautiful. And that's 16 that's I could go with it. Uh, I really, really, really want to hit Train Tower though. That would absolutely make this run. A few of my picks have certainly looked like I have a Train Tower, haven't they? Because <laughs> let me tell you, I'm really good at getting the circle. Getting bulk though, much less good at that one. But if that had been a. Oh, I mean the other one. Added advantage. If that had been a added advantage, I would be in such a good spot. But alas, it's Train Tower. Good job. Uh, where's the crit? I'll aim towards the crit, why not? I dare you to try and hit the crit. Bonk. Seems solid. 145. If we can get 5 more cash and go left, that would be pretty sick. But 5's kind of a big number, so... That second shot was much more solid than the uh, first for getting cash. Nice, I love losing 4 HP for free. Can I get a fight here so I get 1 more cash, please? Oh, wow. That is really good. It's definitely worth not getting a fight. Yay! It's definitely worth not getting a fight over though. Uh, super boots so that we actually have a source of healing is exactly the kind of thing I'm after. And a remove is just super valuable there. But um, yeah, added advantage is going to be exceptionally, exceptionally good. Um, of course, the reason why we hit Unicorn Horndale was solely because we're going to get heavy hand as our boss passive. Yeah, just you wait. Uh, good, he is just a dead first shot, and so is the mirror. That kind of did for sure. Uh, Spear at least has good damage on a crit, but it did a good job of not hitting the crit. 34 stunning shield, is that? No, it wasn't 34 stunning shield. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that can't be correct. It wasn't, it was 34 shield because I gained the circle during the fight. Uh, yeah, missing them getting here would be pretty unfortunate, so I'm pretty happy that worked out. Complex, that's actually a really, really decent pickup here. Until I can get unpretentious, that's an amazing pickup. Perfect. I will happily pay 7 health for any amount of abuse. Bad cheese, sure. Do your worst. Alright, we get to the shop. It doesn't exactly have much for us because we don't have a crazy amount of cash. But what it does have is possibly the highest quality passive I could have gotten from the store. So I'm really not complaining because that absolutely solves my healing. Lightning on. And then we'll shoot the, this one, which uh, should be pretty good. I uh, get max health this fight as well, and that's really nice. God, imagine we get a refreshing punch yet again. Leave refreshing punch runs are just so fun, and I'm just going to get two back to back, aren't I? Right, right? I'll be fine. Obviously, though, it's not going to happen. After a while, I'd be blessed with such a good run. Are uh, you going to hit a bomb? Thanks. Kind of wanted you to end at that shot so that I actually gain shield this. Oh my god. Oof. I thought that was going to be 7 health left on. Would have been unfortunate, but yeah, I've already gotten more procs since. Oh god. When I picked this up pretty late into area 1, compared to the start of area 1 where... Oh, that's just so good. Look at that. So good. Um, the fresh potion. In theory, it would usually be tempting. I don't really... Actually, this is really good, isn't it? This is really good, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't really like the look of any of those, and I really do want to do a run with Morbid. But unfortunately, if I have a leaf already, that makes it so that this is really not the run for it. 
Look how much damage that was. So good. Not even a kill though. Kinda like it that way, so I can shoot my second shot and have it collect me a tiny bit more cash before he dies, and then he drops the shot. I mean this would usually be amazing, but I have a little thing called 10 extra refreshes on the board. And it kind of makes it so that I don't really need to create three temporary refreshes and a massively refreshing old. I guess it's insane for the scaling it provides, because I have knuckles. But still just not necessary. And that's still 55 health off of the durable. Super cool. We only have one more remove we want in our deck. Technically I could also remove this wall at this point. It's not a bad remove. Actually it's a pretty good remove. Let's remove it if I get the chance. But I don't know if I can delete half my deck. 34 damage for 29 gold. That is totally something I'm going to take. It's really not worth it and I'm one coin off of even being able to get that. But I don't need my health, do I? Like. I'm not really scared of any of the elite fights. That could be funny. That remove is perfectly costed. Let's see where the stores are. We have an immediate store after that. Obviously we're taking this, and then I'm going to try and set up the other store a bit better, and we'll take a dumbbell. That gives me some bulwark on my reloads, which sounds pretty good, especially if I can find either a round guard or decoy orb. This is really nice to be able to shoot the orb that we want pretty much every single shot. Get crunched. I don't even think you need to hit any like interesting pegs to get a kill here. Although if you hit that crit, man. <laughs> you know I was actually going to get a kill right here. Uh, I'll shoot the lightning orb because it's undoubtedly going to hit a crit. In lightning orb is just naturally much better if it's hitting a crit than the uh, alternatives. Like certainly not the most impressive fight there. All of nothing because I have the... Uh, maybe if I had my crits matter a bit more, all of nothing would be good here, but basically I just have one crit on the board and durable, so it's kind of hard for me to get to a crit anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to skip this fight yet again because I have absolutely insane bulk I'm collecting, and I'm healing as well, so I'm just going to use this to heal myself up, and yeah, I can only kill the enemies one at a time for the most part, so I'll be skipping it. Oh, that fights us over already. I guess a lot of them must have died to ping damage, and we were doing roughly uh, 2,000 damage per shot, which uh, knocks them pretty fast. We don't need balance for the boss. Just checking if we needed it for squares, because of course balance is extremely, extremely good against squares. But yeah, no, we're just going to muscle our way through the boss. It's going to be quite simple. I think should be good for getting some nice damage here. Doesn't matter whether or not I hit a crit. I've got so much shielding already. This is crazy. Uh, and this is why I say that I love uh, Nightcap. It's just such a fun passive if you can actually get the benefits off of it. Unfortunately, you do actually need to find... There are a few ways you can do it. And some of them are much better than others. Ring of Reuse is pretty amazing at this point. Because sure, I have Dumbo, which is grinding me stats on reloads. But it's certainly not at the forefront of what I want to be doing. Yeah, well, so we have Abrasion here, which we could be taking, which is probably going to be pretty amazing. But then we also have stuff like... Okay, this is actually a crazy take. What if I ignore the round guard? And I just take Spiral Slayer and I'll move. How crazy is that? Nah, buying Spiral Slayer, there's like no point. I should definitely buy the move though. I'm just talking myself more and more into that. Uh, the Abrasion is very, very tempting. If I had 7 more cash, I actually would buy it. But I don't, so... Yeah. Yep, so there are a few ways that you can... I was thinking about this last week or something. There are a few really good ways you can uh, get the max HP off of Nightcap, but you really need at least one of them. One of them is to just have an old, like, swarm in your deck. It's going to give you a ton of damage. Uh, an actual ton of uh, damage, normal damage, and that's just enough to give you a lot of starting shield. Uh, balance is also a good target. And the one that I'm the most interested in, of course, is uh, Highway Orbery, yes. I don't play the orb much, but in theory it's actually like really, really tempting on Berlin because you can get so much starting, I really dislike with that click on it. You can get so much starting shield off of it that you kind of just maintain your shield throughout the entire fight. Or you have a comp like this, where you know you gain a circle which gives you shield, uh, or you have a shield comp that's also really good for getting you a bunch of shield. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yes or no? It's just like big yes, right? 
So every eight pegs hit. Uh, I guess it's not actually as crazy as I initially thought. But it's pretty damn good. It's so good. I'm just taking it. Let's see what passive we get. Here we have at least one more fight. Oh my god. Well now I regret picking it up. Why would you do this to me? Uh, someday I'll get to go the way I want. That day is not today. Yeah, we found Refreshing Punch in a leaf run again. My only goal is to shoot Renewed the Gold once, right? Okay. Uh, 50 cash well spent. <laughs> what more is there to say? Yeah, we found Refreshing Punch. Um, that's also just like extremely, extremely good against this boss as well. It's a uh, pretty crazy tier. I <laughs> I'm not just going to keep doing this, I'm just going to keep hitting Leaf into Refreshing Punch with a cookie and one other amazing source. For this run it was Knuckles, for last run it was... Uh, what's the passive called? Refloss with Stone, which actually was generating me a whole lot of damage as well. First shot is going to be the least impressive shot. Still managed to get a thousand damage, so... Pretty decent. That one hit a crit though. But at this point I've got 30 in the circle, so I can just shoot one Lightning Orb that doesn't crit. And I think he's dead? I don't really know the mass on that too well. But I think he'd die. Oh yeah, no, he'd die. Uh, lightning orbs are pretty good. Um, this... It's <laughs> both runs had ball lightning, both runs had refreshing punch, both had leave the rest for later, and both had cookie. This one had significantly less passives and significantly less orbs. And it, it was really, really good. Like the last one was a bit more of a classic Peglin deck, this one is like extremely extremely refined. And the start was definitely rough, mostly, actually solely because of that plant fight, that was the only rough thing in Area 1. Like every single other fight was a cakewalk, including Mole. It was literally just that plant fight that knocked me for, I think it was like 50 health. Which like, yeah plant fights can be rough, but like 50 health man really. That's just annoying. Um, well, I guess that's only just... You know what? I feel like that plant fight feels worse than like a three hit Minotaur fight though. Which is crazy because like in a three hit Minotaur fight, that's um a lot of health you just lost. Like over 70, that's basically all of your health gone. You're definitely pressing the heal button after that, unless you have an insane source of healing. I guess if you have, if you have a uh, swing source of healing like Nosobaru, you may not be healing after that fight, but that's still pretty crazy. Nosobaru is definitely an orb you want to enter the fight on with a decent chunk of health to work with so that you don't have to shoot the Nosobaru in the first or second shot, because sometimes your deck's just set up like that. Anyway, back to talking about this run. Yeah, starting training weight, I, it just keeps working out. It just keeps working out. What can I say? Like, it beats the high levels of Crucy extremely well. Uh, sure, it definitely wasn't the craziest this run, but I was just getting so much damage so fast. Like, the first shot, 1000 damage. The second shot, it crit. Literally nothing. And then the third shot, uh, yeah, like, 14k? More? Just amazing. If this training tablet had been at an advantage, the early game would have been so much more insane as well. As it was though, training tablet was very decent because that swap that I picked up just giving me 12 starting shields, which means that's starting the circle, that's two starting the circle. And two in circle early games actually are really, really decent amounts. Part of why I like plus one in the circle, starting the circle so much, but also like there are a few other reasons why I like plus one starting the circle here. And uh, yeah, draining weight and this one? No, that one. Uh, training weight and added advantage are both extremely, extremely good reasons as to why. Yep, this run was... God, that peg bag. I, I could feel it when I picked up the peg bag as well. I'm just like, I'm going to hit leave this run, aren't I? <laughs> just completely negate the need for peg bag. That being said, turning your uh, 12 refreshes onto the board into 14 refreshes, it's actually, like, even with leaf active, actually isn't that bad of an idea. Like, it's still more refreshes, which you still really want to be hitting. Like, it's just a really good idea in general. Honestly, I'm surprised that the Renewed Vigor worked out. Uh, I've had a lot of runs recently where I've taken a Renewed Vigor and it hasn't exactly done much, shall we say. And this one, it certainly worked out. What's kind of shocking though is like, if it had just been another Lightning Orb, the run still would have been extremely, extremely smooth because I had Knuckles. And like, sure, if I didn't have Knuckles, then Renewed Vigor would 100% be way stronger than it was. Like, Lightning Orb's just so good. <laughs> it's actually crazy how good this orb was. I Honestly, I should probably just pick up a lightning orb whenever I see it. It is an extremely, extremely good orb, which is only held back by the fact that it deals, like, no damage. If you can find a damage scalar source with it, which we had Knuckles in this case, or is it just, like, general circle stuff we also have, or you have, like, Spoonman's originality, which is literally just enough. It just, it's such an amazing orb. It turns out that being able to hit more picks is a really, really good idea. It's 
powerful, makes summoning circle and Machoska basically the strongest soaps in the game. 